Hello, my name is Weber101 and welcome to a brand new episode of Mods You Should! Today we are checking out a very awesome mod, the Amnesia mod. I'd first like to say thank you very much to the creator of this mansion. The link for the download for the world map is in the description below. Um, I've changed it a little bit uh, so that I can walk around and show off the Amnesia mod. Okay, so here are some of the things you can get in the Amnesia mod. That if you've played the game, these all look very similar to you. You have a tinderbox, lamp oil, it's a candle, there's a lantern, obviously the very famous lantern, it's got the same style as well. Uh, good integration into Minecraft actually, it looks quite good. We've got a chandelier and a upside down lamp. What are they called? It's a lamp. I think it's just called a lamp. I'm going to show you some of the things you can create and then when I have all the stuff, I'm going to go into the very dark spooky mansion when it hits night time. Okay, so first of all, you're going to get uh, Book and Fat, which I'll show you how to make fat in a minute. Amnesia Book. The Amnesia Book is basically all the information about the items and what they do. And it's about it, really. Just tells you everything about the mod. It's a very useful thing if you want to play the mod for the first time. Recommend you get it first. Okay, so if you want to get a piece of fat, you have to get a piece of raw pork chop and just plonk it into here. There you go. And you got two fat right there. Easy peasy. Two fat plus a bottle makes bottled fat. If we take that bottled fat and put it in a furnace. Let me heat it up for a little bit. You get lantern oil. With lantern oil and wool, you get torch cloth, which is very, very important for the future items. Also, if you want to get a tinder box so you can light certain items on fire, mainly everything that's made with torch cloth, you need gunpowder, flint and steel, and a stick, and we get a tinder box. Okay? Okay, so heading over to here, if you get a stick and a torch cloth, you get an unlit torch. Again, this mod can be used to create your own stories, which I would recommend because it's very, very good at integrating that all together. Tinderbox and a unlit torch. You, there you go. Now it's on fire. It now works. Just like a regular tinderbox would work. Okay? That's how the system works. Oh, look, and now you've got a free lit torch. So let's say you make an unlit torch. To make an unlit chandelier, four unlit torches fence and iron ingot and that obviously looks like that because it need to be put onto a block. To get a unlit roof lantern, that's what they're called, roof lanterns, stone, glass pane and a string and obviously you light the unlit roof lantern like you would everything else. This is very important, a light bulb which is useful for making something else. Iron ingots and glass panes make a light bulb which will then lead to what I'm going to show you now. Iron ingots, iron ingots, Glass pane, light bulb, unlit torch, make a flashlight. Bullseye lantern, iron ingots, iron ingots. You can't see the point. Um, get a candle, we want that. Bullseye lantern and a lantern. Okay, it's already starting to get dark. Last few things to show you. Iron ingots and a flashlight gives you a minor helmet, which is very, very awesome. And we have some doors here, which are very, very cool which you can also open with a key, which you just iron ingots and a tripwire. So I'll use that. Okay. So let's get a lantern, lantern oil, fill up a little bit, or fill up a bit more. Boom, there we go. A flashlight uses um, batteries, which I haven't really looked into yet, but by all means, go and have a look for yourself. It's getting really dark now. So, okay, so I've got a candle light here. So you press F, it lights up with the tinder box that you have in your inventory. I'm just going to quickly walk through here. There you go, I'm safe. Whoa! So the candle light, press F again. There you go. See, so using tinder boxes to light it up. Very easy, very simple and effective. Lantern, press F. There you go. And the lantern works with some very good light physics. So you can see here. F again, brings down. It also has the same sound effects from the game. There you go. Okay, so one thing you probably haven't noticed is in the top left corner there is a sanity bar, which if you remember from the game, that does affect the way you play. So if you use this mod well, you can create a very dark and mysterious mansion. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you something very, very awesome. The Miner Helmet. Put that on your head. Press F. And then it works as a Miner Helmet. Okay, so I'm now going to show you the effects of Zero Sanity. The more you spend in complete darkness, the faster it will go down. Obviously, you get your lighter, but it goes back up again. Take light down. It goes down. For the purpose of the video, I have upped the lighting from moody to bright, so that you guys can kind of see the effects. What is that noise? I think I haven't played enough of Amnesia to know everything about the game. All I know is that fucking scary hell. When your sanity reaches 24 or below, you start to get the same way as you do in the game. Everything starts to go a little bit weird and psychedelic. I'm going to let this go right down as far as I can. Uh, if you played the game again, you know that happens when you get so scared and your sanity decreases like hell. You become very slow, very vulnerable. Ah, it's a really horrible noise. Get that lantern up. You start losing your mind. Slowness and stuff, and look at that, it's so weird. And then you are back and everything is happy, however your sanity has not gone up that well. But you can get something called a sanity potion. Where your sanity then increases. And now I'm back to normal. There you go. Everything's well with the world. Instructions for the recipes are all on the link in the description below as well as the download. The last thing I want to show you guys now is a servant brute. Freaking weird as hell. And a servant grunt. Which is the most famous one. Okay. If we go if we go off game mode. Ah that's, wow. They whoa. Now if they can see you, they will come after you. If you manage to get away, they won't come after you. So again, if you have the monsters in the game, then you can Oh my god. See, now everything's fine. Oh god, damn it. They can see you, they will chase after you. If they can't see you, they won't bother. I keep fucking following me, man. I think they've lost... Oh my god. Seriously, these guys are relentless. Ow. So there you go, guys. That is the Amnesia mod. What do you think? Would you download it? Would you play it? Please let me know in the comment section below. The link for the download is in the description below, as always. I have been Weber 101 Thank you very much for watching. Hope you like, comment, favor, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. But look how crazy they look. Look how cool they look. I love planes. Planes are freaking awesome. Each one of these planes is drivable in Minecraft. And each one of them is awesome. I just love the idea of doing this game with a Millennium Falcon. Keep him busy. We need to take out the oxygen as well. Yes. Forget the promise. They die. What was that? Like a penis shape? What the fuck is that thing? <laughs>